Hi, welcome back to the channel. So, I'm going to get straight into it. Um, Taiwanese motorcycle scooter company, SIM, S-Y-M, there somewhere, have, uh, they think they found this problem with the anxiety of range for vehicles. They've come up with this uh, magnificent idea. I've got a few notes, so I'm just, I'm going to read it. So, we know that there's ample charging stations throughout all the big cities that use electric vehicles. And you can swap out your batteries pretty conveniently. You know, you just go in there, take out your batteries, put in your then boom, 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 that's it, done. What if you press for time? You haven't got time to do that stop. It's raining. Do you really want to get out of the scooter, off the scooter, put the batteries in, get, you just want to get home or get to work where it's nice and dry? Anyway. What if you want to go for a long ride? Your buddies are going out, you, and your scooter, your bike doesn't have that range. Well, here comes the PE3, a hybrid scooter. Yeah, a pretty hybrid scooter. Uh, so it's a concept at the moment. Um, it's got some potential with an unlimited range for a scooter. Or an electric two wheel, an electric two wheeler, we call it. So, the main source of the power will come from the electric motor. So that's the power, the electric motor. But when the voltage of the battery gets below sixty percent, the internal combustion engine, the ICE, cuts in and drives the wheels. Well, it kind of cuts in, charges the batteries that then charge or motivate the motor so bear with me motor recharges the batteries and then the batteries are connected to the motor which then drive the wheels so the motor or the ICE is not connected to the motor it's connected to the batteries so it's the motor charges the batteries does that make sense so then you get a longer range so there's no connection to the motor or the drivetrain anything like that only the motor is connected to the drivetrain anyway i'm trying to think. the bmw i3 funny looking bubble thing i'm gonna i'm gonna stick it up here look. bmw i3 very similar thing very content in the car so yep so that's in the car so sim says that the electric motor alone just the electric motor will provide around 35 kilometers about 22 miles of driving just using the motor alone when fully topped up driving at those 25 30 kilometer things so you won't be traveling that far from home i don't think anyway comes now this part I found quite impressive. Sim says it has an impressive fuel economy. A litre, I don't have a litre bottle, but you know, a litre bottle of uh, fuel will get you 90 kilometres. So if you think somewhere around 211 miles a gallon, 211 miles per gallon. It's about five, five and a half litres. But the bike doesn't hold five litres. It only holds three litres. So that's the other thing. So you can, there's only three litre tank for the fuel. Which is going to be pretty cheap to, to fill up. So if you're a student, which I think they're probably aiming for. Students that are just going to be there really quickly and just to change everything so you're not going to travel miles and miles and miles on this you're not going to go around the island of taiwan you might do hey i would like to actually get hold of one of these and so if you're watching this um let me get around the island on your uh pe3 and let's see i'll give you a second we'll do a little vlog around hey 
think? That's a very small and about a hundred scooter that sim I'm looking at. It's a time on motor show in July 2020. So I'm going to get that. And I would like to see this bike. I would like to see. The bike. I'm going to do another one shortly, um, just after I've done it. So I'm going to make another one, and it's um, that program. So check that one out. Let me thoughts on do ride some scooters around. Um, yeah, I've posted some pictures here and there. I haven't decided yet. Probably that way. <laughs> Back with this camera. So I've just got to look in. So it's probably. Uh, it could be here. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'll see if I remember when I'm doing this. I'm posting the same site so that you can have a read. And it's pretty much. What I've said. The uni. Would you actually get one, one of these? Or would you just be the, the Go INX? Or would you stick with the, the IC or the internal engine? 